Oh, that is a fish. <laughs> I thought it was on for a second. That's a nice slot. Come here, 21. Whew. All right, buddy. Well, got this little guy. It took just a second to sit down. Look at that pretty little tail. Get him splatting out here on the board. Pinch that tail. Woo! 22 and three quarters. Oh yeah, he's gonna wake up in a minute. There he is. Don't get mad, don't get mad. I'm get mad for a little bit out there. Nose up, tail pinched. Right at 26 and almost 20, yeah, an eighth short. We'll call her 26. Oof, there's a beaut. Beaut 26. Bam! Bye, baby. Good to know you. All right, you guys, here it is. Sexy mullet, trout trick. Still got that little chin lock uh, Z-Man hook. Now, I went ahead and put one of these little weights on here. If you guys can see here, because I want this current's a little stiff, so I'm wanting to keep my bait down on the bottom. I always talk about wanting to keep keep your bait on the bottom. Majority of fish are feeding on the bottom, especially redfish. So this will allow the bait to stay on the bottom and not get pushed so easily because this is only an eighth, an eighth ounce. So an eighth and an eighth that gives me enough weight to keep me down, and I can constantly feel this guy bouncing on the bottom. So if you guys feel like you want to go with a little bit of heavier weight, sometimes get you some of these. I'll, I'll put the link in the description below exactly where um, what they're called. I got them at Bass Pro. They just literally pinch on, put your pliers, pinch it on, adds a little weight, done deal. It's a quick change or a quick weight adjustment without having to retie and go the whole route. So I'll check this leader. We're afraid a little bit right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and retie and get it back out. I don't know. That looks just third. That's 23, 22. They're just feisty. They're fired up, man. Yeah. It's over, pumpkin. Bang, bang, bam. We're gonna see, buddy. Well, you want to go in Dan's bag? No, Dan's got plenty of redfish in his bag. Look, that one right there. So here you go. So hold that tail flat. So let me unpinched. This is what I'm talking about, guys. Unpinched. That tail is 22 and a half ish, right around there. You put this fish in your basket or in your uh, bucket and go home with him. DNR pulls you over. You're over 23. There's your fine. That's why you got to pinch that tail. That's a good example. Look at the gold in that fish, man. Wow. He's like, I'm too big, put me but, back. Um, yeah, he is too, man. He, yeah. <laughs> right now. All right, brother, what are we using here? Was that the diesel minnow? Diesel minnow. Inch, yeah. Green lantern. Yeah. 
Back to that yeah. Texas side hook, three sixteenths. Keep the keep it down with this heavy current. That's it, you guys. Yeah. A piece of rubber on a hook. Hey, look, look. What? <laughs> so, I thought I lost this guy. It's a sign of good faith. Unfortunately, it's not my favorite Z-Man, but this is the black and gold DOA cow, a little three inch cow I caught my 23 inch redfish keeper on. I was gonna show you guys what it was, but it was my last one and he, uh, he pulled it free. Now this guy is done. Here's the here's why I'm not a big fan of non Z-Man materials because his head's now ripped out just like one, that. One fish done. So I can't use it. Yeah, like my buddy Ray just said, one fish done. See, here's that red fish actually bit, chomp, broke in half. If this was a Z-Man with the elastic material, no problem. We'd keep going. But I do like the color. Z-Man does make this color. It's called Gold Rush. It's, it's hard to find. It sells out really quick. It seems or maybe just because their plants closed down with the COVID issue, but black over gold, dark bait, gold flake, great combination in this uh, dark tannic water we have here in the low country. So just a little, ah, there you go, garbage. Sorry, DOA. Back here you there you are. There he is. Boy, I hate when I get under the boat. All right, we're back. <laughs> there we go. That's a big one. <laughs> That's a big one. He got some weight to him. He mad. He has some weight to him. He mad. I just switched over to that uh, four-inch new penny. Hey, sweetie. Back to a uh, four-inch. I stepped my bait profile size up because I wanted to get back to catching the larger overslots and. Did my strategy work? Or did he just want to eat whatever was in front of him? Killing him, killing the fish. Don't know. All right. Almost 26, about 25 and three quarters thick. 25. God, dog boy. So he just threw up. Guess what's guess what he threw up? Smoke? Crab. Hermit crabs. Bye. <laughs> there he goes. Where is it at? There you go. Yep. A little crab leg too. Love it. Everything. That's what these guys are eating. There They're pushing know. up at this high tide, going up in there munching crabs. Yep. Whatever's in front of them. I hope you guys enjoyed the footage. Me and Ray, we got out here. We put a game plan together. We wanted to get to the back of this creek where we knew there was oysters and bait at low tide and get on these redfish. And boy, we had a good day. Uh, we're going to leave them. We're going to come back. We'll catch them another day. That'll be it for today. You guys take care. God bless.